morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. There are reports of unrest being quashed in China. We believe that unrest has been spreading in China for the last few months, and there's been savage repression. The reason we don't know much about this is because the Chinese are a state-controlled communist dictatorship, and they're able to suppress information they're able to control the flow of information. They're able to do this because they've got a gigantic country and they've got an even more gigantic state security service. They keep out journalists. They control the airwaves. They control the internet. So we think stuff's been going on in China for a while. Secondly, and again, one of the core issues is what is China's future as a state uh, dictatorship? In our opinion, over the next decade, it doesn't have a very good future. And I think that augurs well for the United States in one level, but on another level, we have to be prepared for Chinese political instability to become a reality. Secondly, in China and India, we're starting to see the serious beginnings of inflation. Now, we talk to you about inflation in these countries from time to time. The evidence is now overwhelming and is being widely reported in the so-called mainstream media. And so uh, we believe now that the Chinese and the Indians are going to have to raise interest rates. And in the case of China and their ghost cities and their phantom real estate deals, this is, could be the beginning of a very, very difficult time for them. And what does this all mean? It means gold is going to go up. Now, we keep telling you gold is going to go up, and gold has gone up. And we expect it to go up some more, particularly over the next two or three weeks because the combination of Chinese and Indian inflation and the near certainty of a Greek default uh, combined to make gold look like a really intelligent place to be. Now, of course, uh, our regular correspondents know that you know we think there are a bazillion reasons for gold to be uh, at its current levels, and uh, we expect it to rise even more uh, over the next two or three weeks. But the reasons uh, are now exacerbated by the uh, excessive growth fueled by state funding in China and the lack of serious economic controls in India. These things taken together with the Greek default means that your gold portfolio should have some sharply increased results over the next little while. Don't miss out. Keep Stop worrying about, the, uh, about gold topping out. People have been worrying about gold topping out since $400 an ounce. It's 1,100 points higher now, $1,100, not 1,100 points, $1,100 higher now, and people are still worried about gold topping out. So aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep your eyes peeled for overseas press reports of Chinese political unrest. That'll put gold through the moon. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water and have a great day.